Eastern Europe, so too Saudi Arabia. In the Zionist camp from day one, Abdul Aziz ibn Saud met with the President of the United States of America on board a ship in the Suez Canal. <laughs> 1945 perhaps. And entered into such friendly relations with them. And just three years later, Israel was born. And who is the first state in the world to recognize Israel? Oh yes, the same United States of America. So Saudi Arabia ended up with mess on its face. These are your friends. The Quran has prohibited you from maintaining friendly ties with, an, with a Judeo-Christian alliance. It's there in Surah Al-Ma'idah. And it's time for the ulama in Saudi Arabia, many of whom I understand are listening to our lectures, to recognize that this is the interpretation of the verse and come out and speak against this alliance with the Western world and this hostility for Russia. Now we turn to the second Arab Spring. History is repeating itself. And the second Arab Spring is continuing what the first Arab Spring did. To bring about changes in the Arab world, to bring new governments to the Arab world who would serve, serve the ultimate mission of the Zionists. They want 